So hello, friends of the museum, fellow Wallace aficionados, <laughs> thank you for being here tonight. This now very visible presence here in this magnificent building will spark renewed interest in Wallace's extraordinary life and works. We'll get people talking about him, investigating his life and his legacy, and maybe, as he did with me, inspire people to make their own voyages of discovery. So, <laughs> I am <laughs> slightly nervous because uh, uh, I don't want to get this wrong, but uh, I'm deeply honored and privileged to be able to say, welcome back to the Natural History Museum, Alfred Russell Wallace. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you so much for coming. This has been a fantastic event, and uh, I have to say, the project that I've been working on is a documentary about Alfred Wallace's life, which will be shown on BBC Two in late March, hopefully. And this is the... I, I can't tell you what this means to me to see this, and I'd just like to thank George Beccoloni, who has... Yeah. We, met, we met, really, through Alfred Wallace, and now... Uh, I, I count George as one of my very good friends. And George's is, is tena tenacity when it comes to Wallace has been really infectious. And I have to say that uh, with, with his help and encouragement, um, without his help and enc encouragement, I couldn't have made the program that we did. So, George, thank you very much for that. And I'd also like to thank his wife, Jan Beccoloni, who has also uh, uh, inspired me for a love of scorpions. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much for coming. And uh, this has been a marvellous culmination to, um, to our, our programme, the, the way that we've, uh, we've been following in Wallace's footsteps. But I don't, I don't want to say that this is, this is job done. This is just the start. This is the beginning. This is the point at which a renewed interest in Wallace will happen, and all the very best to Wallace 100. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much.